There's a brewing mortgage crisis here in the UK, as The Guardian is reporting that nearly 300 mortgage deals have been pulled in the last 24 hours, as banks say that it's difficult to gauge just how high and how fast interest rates are going to rise. Let's take a look at uh, one such bank. This is HSBC. It's one of the two biggest banks in the UK, which is withdrawing products. HSBC, uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, banks in the UK, is almost now down at levels not seen since the 26th of April. You can see in the last week or so, it's seen some really hefty declines across the board. It's not just mortgage deals. It's worries about uh, increased bad debts as the UK consumer and indeed corporates find the going tough. We've got a drop of 4.1% at the moment for HSBC. Uh, Santander, which owns the old business of Abbey National and other uh, smaller lenders, uh, is down by a margin of almost 2% today at 218 pence. Again, not too far away from the support we've got here at 205 uh, pence a share. But some of the more, uh, more popular banks amongst uh, the retail sector, Lloyd's in amongst them, again, same sort of price action, big declines at the moment. We've got a drop there of 4% down at 41 and a half pence a share, not too far away from this uh, line of support back on the 15th of July. But Bank of England base lending currently at two and a quarter percent and concerns are we could well see a continuation of this rise, possibly by 200 basis points by the end of the year. And you can see there's another bank here. Uh, this is Nat West Group also uh, finding the going really tough at the moment, currently down almost 4%. Again, not too far away from recent lows. Uh, the punch up that we've seen recently has been on hopes that uh, we might be through the worst of the crisis. But since the mini budget last week has re-emphasized this concern uh, that we have about the outlook for interest rates, that tumbling in the pound, really adding to all these concerns that banks are now finding. And as I said, uh, now some really big question marks over just how much bad debt provision these banks are going to provide to us when they next report earnings.